who's in Cambridge said uh, with regards to the NHS and whether it's open uh, it's not true where I live in Cambridge I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear if anybody else is struggling uh, but uh, I've been able to access routine blood pressure tests to be able to continue with the medication I'm on uh, I put it off until now due to COVID but my GP surgery although offered via a zoom type video appointment we're more than happy to carry out these basic tests so is it a bit of a postcode lottery I wonder as to whether your local NHS is functioning properly 0800 731 2000 text 8133 start your text with the letters UK right Nick is in Cheltenham next then we're off to Dungeness after that Nick good morning to you good morning Jim good morning I'm sorry to break down the pizza and pineapple argument, but actually I do <laughs> like pineapple on pizza. Um, I'm sitting here with a blood pressure, which I took just as I was on hold of 163 over 122. Okay. Um, I, as you know, am one of the 600,000 long COVID sufferers in this country, and I'm also in five or six of the um, support groups. Um, I know I've been... Uh, very ill over the last seven or eight months. It's actually going to be nine months next week. Um, I've uh, had lots of scans from Oxford University showing multiple organ damage. I've been in and out of hospital with small seizures, heart attacks, sepsis, and I'm by far not the worst. There are unfortunately a lot of people who've lost their eyesight, who are immobilised in wheelchairs, mm -hmm. and the big thing is nobody knows how long we're going to be like this because we don't understand the virus. Mm -hmm. And this, the was, I'm this ringing, was triggered by COVID for you, this whole process? Well, yes, all, all of us have had COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, some of us going back to uh, January and February. Um, some people, the majority of the group, there's 20, 21,000 in the group, long COVID support group, which is the biggest the UK one that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Um, but obviously there are many uh, worldwide. Um, but yes, all of us have COVID-19 um, and over various periods of time, our symptoms flare up and down. But over the whole period of the time that you have long COVID, you have COVID-related symptoms. Now, according to the news that's just come out this evening, which is what I'm very upset about, um, and I'll take it even from the wording from the BBC website, uh, but it's on every main news channel, as you know. Mm. People who may have coronavirus will be required to self-isolate by law mm -hmm. with those who refuse facing fines of up to £10,000. Right. So does that mean that all 600,000 of us, like myself, who have not been able to leave the house other than brief you know, hospital appointments in the last eight or nine months, are still effectively going to be now legally enforced to stay in our houses to face a fine of £10,000. I'm sorry, it's absolutely ludicrous. We've got to get this into precisely the right context, haven't we? So this will apply to those who've been told to self-isolate only, and, and that means that you are considered by NHS Test and Trace to still be infectious to other people and potentially uh, able to spread the virus. So at that point, Correct. you will be placed into the standard 14-day quarantine. That's we it. all are. So you're, despite having this now for nine months, or, or the after yes. effects for nine months, you're still considered uh, Many of us have already. had two or three reinfections. Tim Spector, very famously from uh, Royal College, uh, King's College London, as you know, who is um, becoming a very eminent spokesperson, thank God, for long COVID people, mm -hmm. has recognised and is regularly uh, speaking about this. In fact, he spoke 11 hours ago to another news channel mm -hmm. um, to reinforce this. Um, but over the last week of, of the 20,000 in my own group, uh, about 15 have uh, shown a reinfection and been retested and found to have um, antibodies or found to have had the swab test positive. Um, so the honest answer is nobody yet knows how many times we, once we've had the virus, can be reinfected with either the very same or very similar type of the mm -hmm. virus. Mm -hmm. Nobody exactly knows whether we are still infectious. But under the legislation, and I can take the data from the news, it looks as though because all of us have symptoms and all of us, effectively could be carrying live virus mm -hmm. all of us will come under this lockdown in your house or up to ten thousand pounds 
I would have assumed you already were being asked to self-isolate, though, were you, if you're well, considered no, to still point. be? Yeah. It, it, so, but of course, up to now, it's purely been guidance. You've been requested to do it, but as Absolutely. of next, you're totally ne correct, Jim. As of totally next correct. Monday, it, it's going to be punitive. If uh, if you don't, you'll be fined considerable amounts of money. So, because um, all of us have been ill, most of us are so ill we can't work, or a lot of us are not mobile. But as it's a flaring virus, this long-term thing, you can sometimes have five or six days where you start to feel much better, yeah. and you can go to the local park or something. Mm -hmm. But now we won't be able to do that Doesn't because we all like it, have no. the virus and the symptoms. Interesting. It's so you're not going to have interesting. to. It actually is very frightening. Well, um, I can imagine, and and I, I'm I'm fascinated because I hadn't heard a great deal about those in your group then, Nick, who've been uh, effectively living yeah. with, living with the active virus in your system because we. You no, know, there's been some very good things in terms of the raising of awareness, which mm. has been wonderful because Matt Hancock last Thursday in, in in Parliament actually was talking, and we now have a lot of government recognition and backing for a lot of the work that Tim Spector and other people have done and all of the online groups, which mm -hmm. is wonderful. The problem is that now people are learning more about the long COVID sufferers because it's now at 600,000 and set to grow very rapidly because of this new R rate. Um, it's actually put more focus on us, which means that we could pop in and out and do what we wanted to do because we were never having to be tested or to worry too much as long as we wore masks and behaved like everybody else. Yeah. You have, but now, um, effectively, we're a different, it's a different mindset. You have a, a contact, do you, somebody who you're talking to directly about your specific case? Is that is that right? Yes, so yeah, I, I, I mean, I, Oxford University myself. Well, I would, I would ask them because the, the, the crucial aspect is whether you're still effectively considered to be I think the term is shedding. If you're still shedding yeah. the virus, then then you are considered infectious. If that's true, then you would normally be asked to continue your self isolation. But I can only imagine what kind then, of impact that's having. Have we got enough tests to test yeah. six hundred thousand long COVID people? Do the well, let alone the rest of the country. Go to the front of the queue in front of all the NHS staff yeah. and say, "Excuse me, I've had the virus five months. Can you go and test me?" See, the vast majority of people will, if they become infected recover and recover fairly quickly and will no longer be infectious after as little as 10 days, well, uh, 14 um, to be safe. Forecasting 40 to 50 percent of people will have long COVID, which means more than three weeks they'll be poorly. But a lot of people obviously have been poorly several months. I've heard, I've heard of the after effects, the impact on one's uh, organs and of course lung damage, chronic uh, fatigue syndrome setting in on a number of people who've recovered from having COVID-19. But I haven't heard of the virus staying active in your system for this amount of time, Nick. So that was a revelation. This is what's worrying. This is what well, we're just discovering. Yeah. Look, thank you for that. That is a revelation and a fascinating to talk to you. I honestly wish you well with your continued uh, experience and treatment and hopeful uh, recovery as soon as possible. Um, gosh, what about that? 0800 731 2000.